MechPow X4 Pro Laser, got it right here in front of me. I wanted to make a separate video on this because this is somewhat complex and it can be confusing for some people and you may get frustrated. But I will take you through the steps on aligning and setting up the internal camera on this laser in Lightburn. So first thing you're going to need is they will send you the circle pattern sheet, like so. Well mine was all wrinkled up in the packaging and so therefore it doesn't lay flat so therefore it didn't work. So what I did was when you're in the uh, Lightburn software and I'll show you when we get on the computer here you can download the pattern and just print it on a piece of paper and that way it'll lay nice and flat. I'm just going to lay that inside the laser here for a minute. Okay now I'm going to take you on to the computer on the Lightburn and uh, show you how we get all this set up. Uh, I guess I should mention that in the top corner left corner in the center of your laser will be a USB-C connection and there will be a USB-C uh, to A cable go with it. You need to have that plugged into your computer as well and of course you need to have the uh, laser on to do this. But now we'll go on to the computer and I'll walk you through some of that. Before we get started on the computer part of it here, uh, I've got this uh, aimed at the inside of the laser there. Uh, I do have the honeycomb board in there, it doesn't make any difference for what we're doing here. Until uh, we get into the light burn. Uh, you notice I've laid the uh, circle pattern in the center. That's where I'm going to kind of keep it until uh, we get going here. I also, you want to make sure that the laser head is out of the way. So, and I'll bring that up again too as we move through this process. Okay, here we are in light burn. And one of the first things you're going to need to do, of course, make sure you're connected to your laser, the MexPow X4 and the right COM port and all that kind of good stuff and that your camera is plugged in on both ends. You go up here to window and you go down here to camera control. That's going to pop up a window that may hide behind something else. For now I'm going to pull it out here and make it bigger so you can see everything. So you're going to need to choose a camera. And of course I don't want to choose my laptop camera so we'll keep that one there. Now you're going to have to do the camera alignment wizard to uh, compute everything on here. So what we want to do is go up here to laser tools and you want to uh, calibrate the camera lens. That's the first one you want to do. Of course you want to pick, oh this is a standard lens not a fisheye lens. If you start with fisheye you're going to be, it's going to drive you nuts. So standard lens MechPow X4, Cam 500. Uh, use preset, there is none for this. So we're going to go through the entire setup process. So next, you click on Next. It'll show you to place your uh, circle pattern in the center, as you can see up here in the top. And honeycomb check enabled because there is a honeycomb board in there. So we'll click on Capture. So what you want is 0.3 or less is ideal. Of a score of 1 or less you can go to next. Well we're at 0.37 we could try it again and no that's not as good. We'll stick with the 0.37 go to next. Now you'll have to move the pattern to the lower front. And once you have that in place, the capture, and we're going to stick with that. Go on next. You'll have to put it on the center left. The capture. Okay, we'll go next. Now we go to the center right. I have the laser head all the way in the uh, back left corner by the way so it's out of the way. The capture there, 0.35 not bad. For the next one we want it in the upper center. New capture there, 0.69 I'll hit it again. 
Now we'll we'll deal we'll leave it at that. Okay, next we want the uh, lower right corner. The capture there. And you can keep clicking this so you get the best reading you can. Now we're going to go to the uh, front left corner. Okay, now we can go to the next one. You see you need to have it in the upper left corner. That's also where my laser head is, so we'll see if the uh, if it's out of the way enough. If it's not, I'll have to move it. Okay, it's not finding it, so I'll need to move my laser head out of the way. Okay, got that. The next one should be the upper right corner. Yes, this is a little tedious. Okay, we're good there. The next. All right, next we need to align the camera. So click on Align Camera, and this will come up. Okay, now what you're going to need to do here is uh, you need a piece of cardboard. And I just used uh, some scrap cardboard from a carton. Take your circle image out of there now. So, just a plain old piece of cardboard. You need to measure the thickness. For that you can use a digital caliper. I just did this a little bit ago. 0.16. Then set your cardboard in there in the, in the laser. Place your laser head in the lower left corner. Now in here we need to set our material thickness, 0.16, and we want fill speed 3,000 millimeters per minute. Pick that down to 20% power, or you're going to burn a hole in your cardboard. And for the line speed, you can leave it 3,000, turn your line power down to uh, 30. And if you have air assist, and you should turn it on, it keep, helps keep the lens clean. Um, set your scale right here to 100. It, uh, by default it's at a higher number and it'll try to take it to the max and you don't need to go that big. 100% is fine. So next you would click on frame. Be sure to set your focus for the cardboard. A little kickstand down. I've already focused it here because I, I did this a little bit ago. And then you can uh, bring this back home. Okay, the, click the button there, let it frame. Make sure it's going to be on your piece of cardboard or wood or whatever you've got in there. No, you won't be able to frame with the lid open. I know how to defeat this and I'm doing it only for video purposes. Okay, and once you're framed, just click start and let it engrave the uh, pattern. Now once it's done, don't be reaching in there and moving it. Leave it right where it is. Okay, once it is complete, you need to make sure that the laser x-axis in the head is not in the way of the diagram. So I just very slowly, you could also do it manually, and there's a way to do it in Lightburn manually too. Uh, move that all the way up so it's out of the way of your pattern. Okay then, back here in Lightburn, we've uh, done all this now so we can click Next. Now you need to capture the image that you just engraved. And right up here is how you can move the laser head out of the way. Get it out of away from uh, where you want it to be. If you click on, for instance, this button, it'll take it all the way up to that corner. 
And there's another way to do it. Okay, we want to click on Capture Image. Make sure you can see all four of those numbers. We'll click Next. Okay, here you need to click on the center of these little guys, and you can zoom in to do that. So you want to make sure you're absolutely in the center. Double click it. Center. Double click it. Oop, three, next. Make sure you do it in order. Click it. Double click it. We'll go next. Okay, you're finished. So there it is. Now you can update your overlay and you can put that pattern over here on your in your screen. If you were to be doing something to do layout, of course you wouldn't be doing it on that. I'd be doing it on my grid. So what I can do is uh, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take out the honeycomb board and I'll show you what it looks like when it's focused down on my grid. Okay, here I've taken out the honeycomb board and uh, so it can just focus on my grid. So all I need to do is update the overlay. Now you can see my grid right there. So you could lay out your project accordingly. And we're going to save settings, of course, because we don't want to do this every time we get in here. So there's how to set up the camera in Lightburn for the MexPow X4 Pro. Uh, the steps are similar to other lasers that have cameras, uh, even if they're the ones you externally mount. The alignment system that I just went through for this one is the same, and it doesn't matter what laser you have. But I wanted to go specifically for the MexPow X4 Pro here because it's, uh, it's new in the market and not too many uh, lasers have an integrated camera. Uh, do I use a camera for setting up? Not really. Uh, the only one I really use it on is my uh, Week Great Vision, but otherwise, uh, no, I don't use cameras. But I did want to show you how to do this. Again, if your uh, alignment sheet came and it was all wrinkled up like this, uh, just download that file and print your own on a sheet of notebook paper. It's a little easier to work with on this bigger scale anyway. Of course, then you'll need just a piece of cardboard or something like that to uh, get the final alignment on. But it seems a little tedious, but it, some people make it overcomplicated. It's not as hard as it looks, really, as you can see. So that's how you do it. If you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Uh, if you'd like to get one of these lasers, I'll put a link in the description. So I'm sure they'd like to send you one. Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.